Hello traders, welcome to the Forexer channel. In this video, I want to introduce two powerful and accurate indicators to you. This strategy is very simple, and whether you are a beginner or a professional, it can help you maximize profits in the market. If you'd like to familiarize yourself with this strategy, I suggest you stay with me until the end of the video. Let's get started. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start by adding the indicators to the chart. Go to the TradingView website and search for the whole suite indicator from the Indicators tab, then add it to the chart. This indicator is a moving average that identifies trend changes much faster. It's a highly popular and powerful indicator that helps us quickly identify changes in price trends and enter trades in the direction of the market trend. When the price is above the green moving average, we're looking for buying positions, and when the price is below the red moving average, we're looking for selling positions. Let's take a look at the settings of this indicator and adjust it accordingly. Go to the Inputs tab and change the length to 25. Then navigate to the Time Frame section and select the Chart option. With these settings, this indicator works well on all time frames. Now go to the Style tab and adjust this section according to your own preference. Now we need an indicator to give us buy and sell signals. Go back to the Indicators tab and search for Range Filter Buy and Sell, then add it to the chart. I personally really like this indicator and it works very well. However, if you prefer other indicators, feel free to use them. In previous videos, I introduced several new indicators that you can use in this strategy. You can refer to those videos and incorporate those indicators into this strategy. As you know, this indicator provides buy and sell signals. Go to the settings of the indicator and change the range multiplier input to 2 from the inputs tab. Leave the other sections unchanged as they perform well. Then go to the style section. If you prefer, you can adjust this section similar to my preferences. I like to keep the chart less cluttered so that I can better visualize it and make informed decisions. I often deactivate most of the sections and only keep the buy and sell signals visible. I also change their colors to make them more visually appealing. As I mentioned before, you can customize this section according to your own preferences. The strategy is ready. If you've enjoyed it so far and found it useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we stay motivated to bring you more content. Thank you. HankaTrade offers a seamless trading experience with its user-friendly interface and comprehensive features. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, HankaTrade provides the tools and resources you need to succeed in the financial markets. With competitive spreads, fast execution, and a wide range of tradable assets including Forex, stocks, commodities, and cryptocurrencies, HankaTrade caters to the diverse needs of traders worldwide. And here's the exciting part, sign up today and receive a whopping 100% bonus. Don't miss out on this incredible offer. Click the registration link in the description to get started right away. Happy trading with HankaTrade. Rules for entering a buy position. Identify support zones on one hour or four hour timeframes. Wait for the price to reach these support levels. Look for bullish candlestick patterns. You can search for these patterns on lower timeframes. When a bullish candlestick closes and a buy signal is given, open the buy position. If the bullish candlestick closes above the green moving average, initiate the buy position. Place the stop loss below the identified support zone or at the lower swing low. Set the take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 2. Utilize the floating stop loss technique for maximizing profits. Rules for entering a sell position Identify resistance zones on 1 hour or 4 hour timeframes. Wait for the price to reach these resistance levels. Look for bearish candlestick patterns. You can search for these patterns on lower time frames. When a bearish candlestick closes and a sell signal is given, open the sell position. If the bearish candlestick closes below the red moving average, initiate the sell position. Place the stop loss above the identified resistance zone or at the higher swing high. Set the take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 2. Utilize the floating stop loss technique for maximizing profits. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
Pay attention to this example. The price has reached a support zone and formed new higher highs and higher lows. This indicates that the price is moving in an uptrend and we should look for a buying position. As you can see, the price has reached the second support level and three bullish candles have closed, indicating the strength of buyers and market momentum being in favor of buyers. A buy signal has been given and the bullish candle has closed above the green moving average. I will open a buy position, placing the stop loss at the lower swing low and setting the take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 2. Let's see the result. Let's analyze another example to better understand this strategy. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Here I've selected the dollar to yen chart on a 15 minute time frame. As you can see, the main trend is bearish, with lower highs and lower lows forming. The price has reached a resistance zone within a corrective wave. This zone is significant as it aligns with the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level of the corrective wave. If you've seen my videos in the Smart Money playlist, you can easily identify supply zones. I'm marking this supply zone. As you can see, the price has reached the supply zone, formed a pin bar candlestick, followed by a bearish engulfing candlestick closing below the red moving average indicating a sell signal. With these conditions, I can open a sell position. I'll place the stop loss above the resistance zone and set the take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 2. Let's see the result. Here, I've selected the Nasdaq index on a 30 minute time frame. As you can see, the price has reached a support zone and formed higher highs and higher lows, indicating an uptrend. We should be looking for a buying position. The price has reached the second support level. Again, I'm using the Fibonacci retracement tool to validate this support level. This support level aligns with the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. Within this support zone, I've identified a demand zone and marked it. As you can see, a pin bar candlestick has formed, followed by a bullish engulfing candlestick, giving a buy signal. However, the moving average has not turned green yet. In these conditions, we should wait for the green moving average to change color. As you can see, the price has formed a base, and the green moving average is now green. I can open a buy position, placing the stop loss below this new base, and set the take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 2. Let's see the result. I hope you haven't tired of the video so far and have enjoyed it. Once again, I've selected the NASDAQ index on a 5 minute time frame as you can see. The price is in a downtrend and has reached a support zone. If you look closely at the chart, you'll notice that the price couldn't break out of the support zone, but a break of structure pattern has formed, indicating a continuation of the downtrend. As you can see, a bearish candlestick has closed below the red moving average, giving a sell signal. In these conditions, I wait for another candlestick to close. If the close of the next candlestick is lower than the close of the previous candlestick, I enter a sell position. Although this candlestick isn't very reliable, considering the downtrend in three consecutive bearish candlesticks, I take this risk and open a sell position. I'll place the stop loss above the recent swing high and set the take profit with a risk reward ratio of 1 2. Let's see the result. As you have seen, sometimes taking risks can be enjoyable. I hope you have understood this simple and precise strategy well and can achieve the best results with it. I have shown you how, with the help of indicators, experience, and trading knowledge, you can achieve the best results. If you are interested in trading signals, I recommend joining our Telegram channel and using our trading signals. We publish several high-probability trading signals daily on our Telegram channel. Additionally, every day we share the best trading setups and important trading tips on our Instagram channel. If you're looking to improve your trading knowledge, follow our Instagram channel. Thank you to all of you who have liked and joined our channel. You motivate us. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with your friends so they can benefit from it too. Wishing you all success. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Good luck.